In this video, we're going to look at a Jetpack module called Extra Sidebar Widgets. And this module simply comes with a bunch of extra sidebar widgets. Normally, I'm someone that advises against putting gadgety things on your website. Things on your site should be there for a purpose. However, some of these widgets fulfill an excellent purpose. So follow along and see if any of them can help with your website. Let's take a look at what we have here. There's a Twitter widget that shows your latest tweets within a sidebar. And a Facebook like box that's very similar, but it just shows a like box. And a Google badge widget, which allows you to display information about a person, a page, or a community from Google+. The image widget simply lets you add images to a sidebar. The Gravatar widget allows you to pull your Gravatar image along with some of your Gravatar profile data and show it in the widget. The Gallery widget is similar to the Image widget except it can show a whole gallery or a slideshow. It requires the Tiled Gallery module, but that comes with Jetpack so it's not a stretch. The Display WordPress Posts widget lets you display up to 10 recent posts from another WordPress.com blog or a self-hosted WordPress site with Jetpack enabled. The Social Media Icons widget lets you add icons for the most popular social networks to your sidebar or other widget area. Now these are different from the add buttons that we put earlier at the bottom of posts. These would simply be links to the social media area related to your website. The Contact Info widget. Basically you just put information about yourself and about your site. And lastly the Goodreads widget. Goodreads is a website for tracking what you read. Let's take a look at some of these widgets. I'm going to activate. And now we'll go over to Appearance, Widgets. And you can see that my widget list is much longer than it has been. Let's take Twitter Timeline and put it here at the top. We can put in a title, max width, max height, number of tweets shown, let's do five. Widget type, profile or widget ID, we'll do profile. A Twitter username. Then we have some options for header, footer, borders, and transparent background, link colors, and a timeline theme. Let's hit save and reload. And here I have nice little Twitter feed and I can view it on Twitter or I can choose to embed because it's just a normal Twitter embedded feed. Let's take a look at Facebook. Title, page URL, Width, height, show faces, optionally show stream, and show cover photo. So let's hit save and reload. And there's my Hero Press page. And you can like it or share it. And there are links to people who have liked it. You'll note that each of the Jetpack related widgets has the word Jetpack in it. For contact info, you can just fill in this information. And we'll reload again. And there it is. Let's take the image option. And it actually wants an image URL. So it doesn't necessarily have to pull from your media library. It can pull from anywhere on the internet and it simply shows an image. Let's look at a Gravatar profile. And then you can choose a user from this site. You 
can show personal links and account links. And we'll click Save and Reload. And there's my Gravatar picture. My name, what I'm doing, and my personal links, and a link to full profile. Now instead, I could choose Chip Bennett and save and reload. Now the email address associated with Chip does not have a Gravatar account, and so it's going to show up like this. So the lesson we learn here is that in order to use the Gravatar widget, you have to have a Gravatar account. Let's take a look at the RSS links. And we can show feeds for posts, comments, or posts and comments. Let's do text and image links. Image size, large. Image color, red. And we'll choose save. There. And now we have links to the RSS feeds that this blog creates. Search engines like links like that because it helps them find content on your site. Here's the social media icons widget. You may notice a pattern here. Let's click Save, and then Reload. And here we have the links to each of my social networks, including things like GitHub. Now, one last one that I wanted to look at is the photo gallery but you may have noticed that it is not appearing here. That's because it requires the tiled galleries module, which is not turned on. So let's come over here and we'll turn on tiled galleries and then go back to widgets. And right here is the gallery option. And we'll say my gallery. And we can choose images. I don't actually have any images on this site right now, so I'm just going to upload some. Now it says I got an error, but the image uploaded just fine. So over here, I'm going to choose Tiled Mosaic and click Insert Gallery. Now it's going to show me the images, and I can link to a carousel or the attachment page or the media file. Let's do carousel. And style, tiles, square tiles, circles, or slideshow. Let's do Tiles, and then Reload. And there they are. And when I click, I get this carousel. Now if I go back and I choose instead square tiles it simply looks like that or I could use circles and they look like that and lastly I have slideshow and we can do something like this or if we leave it alone it should change itself. And there it goes.
So the usefulness of these widgets varies wildly. There are different types for promotion, for aesthetics, all kinds of things. I really doubt that anybody's going to use all of them. But look at them carefully, and if any of them fit your site and will enhance your site and make your readers want to come back, then by all means use them.